Hello soulmates, my name is Tina and you're welcome to Luchi's Design. In today's video, I'll be teaching step by step on how to cut male vintage shirts. And the materials I will be working with are my tape, my check, and my scissors. If you're working on vintage fabric, make sure you always keep your pins around. So, the measurement I will be working with are shoulder measurement of 17 inches, chest of 38 inches. Vintage fabric is always free, it's not tight. In this case, I will be adding 2 inches on my chest line. My chest line is 38 plus 2 inches that is 40 you divide it by 4 it will give you 10 the person that I'm showing this vintage uh, shirt for uh, his neck is um, 16 inches working with the shirt length of 29 for, for front I will add 1 inch for folding your round armhole you have to make sure your round armhole in this case the round armhole I'm working with is 19 inches. I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two. After folding your fabric into two, please make sure it's equal. I will fold my four inches. Make sure it's four inches. Now divide the 40 by by four. It will give you 10. So if you add your sewing allowance of 1.5 or two inches, me I will be adding 1.5. A total of everything will give you 15.5. That's what you fold. Let's confirm. This is four inches. The overlapping overlap is one inch, and the turn up is three inches. Then, if you now measure it, let's see if you have our ten plus one plus four. Okay. Everything is accurate. The reason why I did it like this so that you will not waste your fabric. So the next thing to do on this one, please pin it so that it will not scatter. Pin it very important. The next thing to measure now is your length. The length I'm working with is 29. You add plus one. You add one inch to your length. That will give me that so i will measure down 30 30 inches i'll go ahead to cut it off please make sure you hold it with your pins hold it with your pin there's no overlap at your back fold your fabric into two okay in order not to waste your your fabric just Add two inches is allowance for your chest line. The chest line is that eight plus two inches. That is forty. Divided by four. If you divide it by four, you have ten. Then you add one point five is allowance. Let's check what we have here. It should be ten plus one inch. Okay. The little difference I have is that. For my back, there is no button overlap and the length is longer. I will be making the length longer well, with about 4 inches. For our back, we we'll make it 34. That's the difference. The reason for the 4 inches that I added is because of our shoulder slant our shoulder slant okay let's confirm this is my 10 inches plus 1.5 just roll it down i use my pin to hold it down Okay. 
okay moving on the next thing i will do is to learn the front front part to the back part and lay it on top make sure that the front and back is equal after making sure that it's equal you make sure that the one inch button overlap is out see what i did see the one inch button overlap you measured it out from here is one inch button overlap so the next thing i will do now is to divide my shoulder into two my shoulder divided by two is 8.5 that is my shoulder my shoulder this is my shoulder come down by three this is this will be my shoulder slant slant it to your neck side Three inches measure down. Three inches measure down. The back length is longer than the front length. What I will do is I will just pull it down. I will pull the front down, the front one down, so that it will be equal. I'll pull it down. The reason of pulling it down is to for me to do my shoulder overlap my shoulder overlap if you check you find out that the one inch is still coming out the one inch is out that is my one inch this is my shoulder overlap please make sure you use your iron to flatten it this is my shoulder overlap okay after doing that use your pin to hold it down this is my one inch i left for button over overlap so the next thing I will do is to take take my neckline. I'll be working with neck depth of four inch and neck width of two point This is please if you want to measure your shoulder make sure your measurement is starting from from the one inch please very important what you need to do is to mark out that one inch see my one inch here you mark out that one and start your measurement from the one inch My shoulder is 8.6 I'll mark my shoulder here For your uh, armhole depth That's to get your chest line vertically I will just take what I have here I will just take it down here Or you measure your round armhole You measure your round armhole Okay, what I have here I will just take it down here I have 8.6 that is my shoulder line i'll take it down what i have here is six eight point six measure it here that is my chest line then i'll take my round chest 10 plus 1.5 is allowance i hope you're seeing what i'm doing I'll now roll it down. 
I'll leave it there. Please, you have to pin your fabric so that you can be in control of it. My chest is full. Make sure you're starting your measurement. Make sure you're starting your measurement from the one inch here. I have 10. That's 1.5. Okay. Now, to get your cur that curve, you have to divide, divide it by two. If you divide it by two, from here you come in for front, you come in by half inch. This is my shoulder line. This fabric is moving around. So you now draw your arm hook curve. Arm hook curve. This is my arm hook curve. Draw your arm hook curve. From the middle here, what I did is just to divide it into two. From the middle, I came in by half inch and connect my arm hole. You can also use your curve to draw your arm hole. That's all for the measurements. That's all for the measurement. The next thing is to, to cut our front first i'll start by cutting it here see what i'm doing cut it from here follow what i'm doing Please, I'm cutting out the front first. The front first. See what I did here? You just pick this one. Let me put it down. Pick this one. If you want to cut it, pick it from here. From here. And now cut it. And continue with the front please don't cut the back don't cut the back continue with the front here don't make mistake of cutting the front and back at the same time I'm not cutting the front and back I'm cutting the front separately okay I've cut it off. I've cut the neckline off. Please, if you are cutting your armhole, make sure you just cut it like this. Now continue with the front. Continue with the front. Don't cut it together because the front arm hole is always deeper. So after that, we will trim the we trim the back. So from my back, I'll just come out at the middle here. At the middle here, I'll come out by half inch. Just follow what I'm doing. 
Ah, me corté, ¿eh? This is the end part of the... When we are sewing it, I will trim this part off. For now, we just have to leave it like this. You just have to leave it like this. This is the end part of the cutting. We are done with our our front and back. Please, if you find my video helpful, make sure you subscribe and like my video. In our last class, I will show you how to sew it, how you can sew it. Stay tuned for the sewing part. I will show you how to cut the the leaf and the color in the sewing part please make sure you check it out thanks for watching bye